People are organized into teams based on schools um, and some association with the schools. Each university or college holds a competition once a year. Um, and mostly we're kind of around the Northeast. We don't really go too much further than New York for, for competitions. The evolution of, of the levels from beginner to advanced is like an ecological system where people <laughs> die off. The beginning <laughs> levels always are packed full of people and then the advanced levels get either smaller and smaller um, or they balloon out at the top level because top people come. For our level, I believe we're competing against 15 it's couples. usually about, that's how many was at Tufts. You start out with everyone on the floor and you cut, and supposedly you cut half every round until you get to the last six and then you place the last, well if you were a judge you would place the last six. At CBU, I'd, personally, um, I'd like to place in the top four for a Harvard Invitational. I think it would be really cool if we won something. <laughs> It's completely like new territory to me, so I'm just like kind of getting used to it and enjoying it. Uh, like she said, she's been dancing since she was four. I've been dancing for three months now. So I mean, it really is just new territory for me, and I'm just having a good time. You know, unfortunately, competitions don't always come right when you're at a big milestone in your dancing. You kind of just take them, take them where you are. Andrew is sleeping and sleeping. I've been looking for him for like an hour. I kind of want to practice, but. This is bronzer. I do um, a lot of fake tanning ahead of time with lotions and stuff, but this is sort of instant, last minute, <laughs> little extra color. I'm pretty cool now, but uh, probably as we get closer to going on, I'll be more nervous. Something we started doing that seemed to be helping is that we unload before. We dance like 30 minutes before, like before we're gonna get ready. We just tell each other what's going on in our lives so that once we're done with that, we can just focus on dance and be ready to, to go out there. We didn't do as well as we had hoped. We weren't as clean. Uh, we were just making like little tiny errors, but they do add up, and judges do notice that sort of thing. So I can somewhat, I can understand it's not making this round, but still it's a disappointment. I'm gonna practice a lot more, either by myself or with him. And like, I wanna get some more private lessons, like a lot more private lessons. She hurt her ankle a little bit in the yeah. beginning of the, the cha-cha in the last round, so. It's a little hard to keep dancing after that. Yeah, kind a little worried. Off guard for a couple measures, I was... It's tough though, because like... I mean, if you're hurt, you can't just... Sometimes you have to just stop. This is a really good comp for us. We, we really opened yeah. up and we really danced with each other. And we learned! We really had we a good time. A this is the first time we've had a, a good, good time. time. This is my dorm room and my wall of like ballroom and dancing fanaticism. I'd rather go to ballroom than do my homework. And I probably ballroom more hours a week than I have classes. Not because I don't go to them, just because I ballroom dance that much. The main sport that I enjoy right now is probably jujitsu. Uh, it's like wrestling, but I basically have to sacrifice more than half of my time that I'd usually spend doing jujitsu. So that certainly is a negative to borrow. I'm in a degree program here and um, I'm studying interfaith conflict resolution and ministry. I'm a very spiritual person with a grounding in Judaism where my roots are from but um, very open-minded about other religious traditions. I think that it's it's a positive thing that both Michelle and I are, are 
spiritual and have some faith. You know, we do our little candle ceremony and stuff, and all those candles that we, we use have been blessed by the priest that, um, at the Ukrainian church in, in Jamaica Plain. And we go together, well, when we're both around. It gives us one more aspect that, you know, to which we can relate to each other. I, I've had two, you know, huge loves in my life, and the first was music, which was what brought me to Harvard, and then this is the second one. Chris Johnston, our coach, is telling me is that I need to stand up, I need to be aggressive, and I need to, I need to take control. And I need to be extremely confident and have my chin up and just be out there. And that's really hard for me because, because my opinion of the great artist for so many years was someone who sat down on the piano and who entered and left anonymously. Ego plays a huge role in ballroom. I do think ballroom has given me a bigger ego and that makes me a little upset. I think it's because the sport judges you, not as a person, but it judges your entire body and presentation of yourself. It's about looking sexy, especially if you're a girl, and you can compare yourself to other girls. Is their costume, you know, cuter than mine? Is their makeup better? Is their dancing?